I learned to uh, separate myself. I didn't go home and have nightmares. Uh, I could walk away. In the very beginning, when I first covered police, I remember the first night in Lubbock, Texas, uh, the guy that was training me, we went out, and a man had been cut from ear to ear uh, with a razor. And they loaded him in the ambulance. He said, get in that ambulance and watch that man die. And sure enough, he died in, in, in route to the hospital. He didn't have a chance. I mean, he's bleeding so bad. He says, watch that man die. And I, I for several nights, I would <laughs> dream about that man. The one type of story that used to get to me was children, especially children my age, seeing a drowning. And sometimes where it was a terrible accident, where just it could happen to anybody. And I used to say that could have happened to me. And uh, sometimes those cases got to me. I could see my child on a stretcher. Uh, but most of the time I could, uh, I could divorce myself from it. You have to, just like a doctor, you've got to, you can't let it eat you up. You know, I never, I never envisioned myself as a teacher. Uh, I never expected to go beyond managing editor. The jobs I enjoy most was uh, reporting. This, I love being a police reporter. I've been a police reporter all my life, if I could afford it to stay on the beat. Although I wouldn't enjoy it today because you've got these you police lines, and we didn't have any police lines. We went right in with the cops, stepped over bodies and everything else. There's, I mean, you look back at some of it was pretty bad. The ombudsman, I love being ombudsman. Uh, I thought it was a great challenge and uh, dealing with the public and uh, uh, trying to resolve problems. It was a challenge. Every day it was a different type of challenge. and uh, But that finally wore me down after seven years, after hearing people complain. And then you start hearing the same thing. And there was so just so just much intolerance. The intolerance finally started getting to me. You know, somebody would call up and say, I'm not a racist, but, and I knew I was going to hear racist, foul language coming forth. And I love teaching. Love, I like being teaching almost as much as I like being a police reporter. Because, you know, I, I see, I really changed young people's lives. I got a letter the other day from a, kid who's been out of my class for four years and he just sent me a nice note he said professor i just want to know that uh, you were the best professor i ever had and you have influenced my life more than anybody else not just my professional life but my personal life and, you know boy that makes it all worthwhile something like that happens so i and i just i love being in the classroom with those young people it's fun i always do it for free with uh, don't ever tell the chancellor that.